guys, what's going on? My name is Luis, and God bless every single one of you. Today is May 16, 2024, and welcome to the Grand Penis channel. All right, guys, so we have some urgent information coming out. If you can, please share this video. And it says here you have the bear is scheduled to perform a military missile exercise of the southern coast of California. Less than 300 nautical miles from shore in international waters. Once again, international waters. Now, this is expected to last for 10 days, ending on May 26. You know how close this is? Let me show you something really quick here. Look at this. Look at this here, guys. All right, so this is a map. This is this is Southern California right here. This is Baja California right there. This is where the bear's at. That's the closest. <laughs> Man, the bear's going to be firing missiles and rockets and all this type of stuff right in front of California. All right, we got all this information. We have all the breaking news, guys. Uh, I just got home, and uh, I've been out for like four hours doing a couple of stuff, but uh, I shared the information on my Twitter page like two and a half hours ago, so this video here would have been uploaded hours ago, but again, I had to do a couple of errands. Um, once again, guys, uh, let me just pull up this information here. So, the Bear Navy, look at this, rocket, gun, Missiles firing starts this afternoon of the coast of Southern California and Baja until the 26th and it's international waters. Now, again, this is international water, which means that the bear could be there. Any country could be in this region. As long as, you know, they follow procedures, as long as is for like training purposes only. Now, if the bear starts firing, let's say, nukes towards California, then, yeah, it, it just, they're looking for WW3. So, the bear has every right to be uh, to be in that region. It's international water. Just like uh, the U.S. has every right to be in the South uh, China Sea, because certain areas there is international water. All right, so it says here, um, it shouldn't really affect any flights going to from Hawaii. Now, once again, uh, the Bear Federation plans to conduct rocket firings impact area, uh, once again, in the WI, the Oakland AITCC Oceanic Fur. All right, so we have a lot more information here, guys. Urgent, the bear conducting missile launches off Northern California coastline. Isn't it Southern California? Yeah, because you have Baja California, which is Mexico, and then you have Southern California, which is uh, the U.S. So a notice to air missions has uh, been issued off the coast of Northern, Northern California, alerting pilots of the bear missile launches to land slash impact in the Oakland air route traffic control center guys you know usually when there's biblical wars um, especially the bear being one of our, our biggest enemy usually uh, stuff like this they put a pause to it because of again because is there's a massive biblical war going on and the bear is one of our biggest enemy actually it's the biggest enemy and they're out there 300 nauticals away from california all right so turner said what if these missiles don't land in the ocean but instead enter the sleeping giant with live warheads it began hitting targets. I don't think they're gonna have uh, any warheads in these missiles. It's 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 basically training and drills. 
So usually their stuff is not uh, loaded. I mean, it, for them to have nuclear that close to California, I mean, yeah, it's it just not very smart. So what do you guys think? The bear has nukes in him? Like I said, it's not very smart. Um, the bear expected to launch missiles for 10 days straight. 10 days straight off the southern coast of California until May 26th. So it's it's the southern, it's not the northern. Uh, it's the southern. Give me a second here. Let me uh, let me pull this information up. All right. So if you can, please share this video. All right. So this is coming out from the official website. All right. So give me a second. The following NOTAM list was selected by the user from a previous request. This list may not reflect all active NOTAMs for any of the below location. Now, is this considered a DEF CON 2? Um, yes, to be honest, yes. And the reason why, like I said, we have one, uh, one of the biggest enemies out there, uh, not too far from California. Actually, it's right there in front of California. So it is a DEF CON 2, but it's a DEF CON 2 watch. So the sleeping giant are keeping their eye on the bear. Again, they have uh, Air Force and navies and all them out there. They're keeping their eye very close on the bear. Now, I wouldn't say it's like a DEF CON um, WW3, but it's a DEF CON watch alert. Um, so it says here, the Bear Federation plans to conduct rocket firings impact area WI, the Oakland ARTCC Oceanic Fur is WI, an area defined as 295000N. All these numbers, see, I'm going to skip. I have no idea what these numbers means, guys. Um... If you guys have any idea about this one here, I truly apologize, guys. But again, this is coming out from the Defense Internet No Time Service. Let me share this information really quick. All right, so give me a second, guys. Let me just bring this one up. See how close it is? You see how, again, so this is the bear right here. You see how close that is to California and Baja California? So once again, this is Southern California right here. This is the Southern part. And this is the Northern part, Baja California. So the bear is right directly facing this region. All right, so that's the bear. And that's, that's when they're gonna start firing their missiles and stuff. Again, it's a, training drill and they're going to be doing it for the next next 10 days wow Canadian Prepper, he even posted his information. Not sure how normal this is. Even if it's normal, it happening now is abnormal. That's what I'm saying. Again, that's what I'm saying. You know, it, it just... You know, it's it just kind of strange that uh, the U.S. It's kind of strange how the Sleeping Giant allowed this to happen knowing that uh, we are in a hot uh, spot of biblical war. We are in a hot spot right now. I mean, stuff like this would be postponed or paused. Um, it, it just... I don't know, guys. I feel like it, it just... 
Yes, it's international water. They could be there. They could do it, their drills and stuff like that. But if there weren't no biblical war going on, uh, then it's a different story. But right now, we again, the bear leader and the red dragon leader were in the meeting and they had nuclear suitcase. I mean, that's how bad it is nowadays. I don't think we have time for this. We don't have uh, uh, time for that. I don't know how the Sleeping Giant allowed that to happen. But again, like I said, it's international water. They have every right to be there. If they want to go to the Gulf of Mexico, they could go to the Gulf of Mexico. Um, it's going to be more expensive because traveling through that region is just too much. So d again, guys, this is, uh, this is very concerning. What do you think? What are your thoughts? Leave comments down below. See, this area here, this area here, and that's where the bear is going to be at. Oh, man, we're going to have a lot more information, a lot more information. Canadian Prepper is right. Not sure how normal this is. Big shout out to Canadian Prepper. And what's strange about it, you didn't hear nothing from the news. See, I'm trying to look for information here. Give me a second. See, I don't know, uh, for those of you that live in California, if you live out there in California, were there, uh, were there any uh, messages or any text alert that uh, there was going to be some uh, foreign uh, land uh, 300 nautical away from you guys? I mean, usually uh, they send uh, a message to the citizens and, uh, again, residents out there in California that uh, there could be some stuff. See, guys, I can't find nothing here. The bear to conduct missile tests off California coast. This is the only thing that comes out. There's not much information here. Yeah, September 23, 2023. I mean, I can't find no information here, nothing. Yeah, absolutely nothing. Which uh, is also a little concerning because, uh, again, like I say, guys, uh, when it comes to stuff like this, they let us know. Uh, they give us a heads up. And for those of you that missed it, that's the one. That's the nuclear suitcase right there. All right, and I did post a video today if you guys want to check it out. So this is the bear leader plane that landed yesterday in the red dragon in china and you can see man they were waiting for him and that's uh that's him right there red carpet they are greeting the bear leader saying welcome to the red dragon and now if you see this part right here hello someone's standing right there with the nuke case All right, so if you guys want to check out that video, the link will be in the comments box. That view and that video is not reaching a lot of views. That video is very important. Uh, I think my title next time will be UFO Nuclear War, and I guarantee it will get a lot of view. But again, I don't do that type of stuff, guys. Again, that's that's not me. I don't talk about UFOs. Um, give me a second. Okay, the bear is going to be firing missiles off the west coast of the USA between the USA and Hawaii. No fly zone off the west coast of the sleeping giant due to the bear missile test. Is this normal? Maybe it is normal. Or I've just never heard about it before. 
to be honest, this is the first time I'm hearing this. This is the first time I'm hearing this. Yeah, this is the first time I'm hearing this here. Alright, give me a second. Give me one second, guys. I'm trying to see if I can find some more information here. And I will bring you some more updates. Alright, so this is all the information so far, guys. I mean, I'm trying to see if I can find any more info. Uh, there's a possibility. Hold on. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. We got some more information here. Are they going to be using submarines? Guys, remember that story? Well, not story. The guy, Dimitri. Uh, remember Dimitri? He came out. He's the one that... Uh, had a vision, a man for Romania. He was sent here. He was locked up in Romania for something. And then he came to the U.S. And then he shared his vision uh, about the sleeping giant getting hit by nukes. And it was uh, from the Pacific and from the Atlantic. It was the Bear submarines. And he said that sleeping giant won't know what hit them. Here's the map, and that's the map I've been showing you guys. This is the map. Alright, so he just added the map, that's it. Alright guys, so this is uh, this is all the information. What do you think? Leave comments on below. One thing I tell you is that uh, stuff like this should be paused. Especially when there are biblical wars happening. And then you got stuff like this that's taking place. A historic meeting. Once again, historic. The bear leader and the red dragon leader meeting with nuclear suitcases in hand. We are seeing it. We are living it. We are witnessing Bible prophecy happening right in front of our faces. This link, this will be the only link. The only link in the comments box. I'm going to make it easier for everyone. You need to watch this video. I post the link. Uh, well, I'll post a video today. The link will be in the comments box. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Once again, for those of you that want to give a light to Christ, you can email me. My email is in the description box. Me and my wife are here to help many and to lead many to the righteous path. And that's the path of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And for those of you that want to send us letters or prayer requests, you can send it to me, Luis Santiago, or my wife, Jessica Santiago, at 3432 U.S. Highway 19, number 2, Holiday, Florida, 34691. Once again, guys, $1 a month Patreon. We get you access to our live stream every Sunday. We talk about things that we cannot talk about on the platform. Also, I posted videos today. Those links will be in the comments box. Thank you so much for watching. God bless you all. Put your faith and trust in Jesus Christ. For he's the only way, the truth, and the life. No one gets to the Father but through Jesus. Thank you so much for watching. Till next time later. Peace.